Whales were the first biofuels craze. They were so abundant that we burnt them for oil. French explorer Jean Laperouse sailed into Monterey Bay and complained that there were so many whales that they stunk up the air with their breath. Now, gray whales today number about 20,000 animals, and they're thought to have recovered from whaling, but have they really recovered? How many were there before whaling began, and how can we tell? There's a record of the past population size of whales written in their DNA, and we're just learning how to read that record now. A population of many animals accumulates genetic variation because of mutation. A small population, by contrast, would winnow it away because of inbreeding. So the amount of genetic variation in a population now is a reflection of how big it used to be in the past. Collaborators of mine, Liz Alter and Eric Rines, and I looked at genetic variation in 10 places around the gray whale genome and found that the levels of variation were too high to have come from just a population of 20,000 whales. In fact, the population suggested by that amount of genetic variation is about 100,000 animals. And it suggests that the ocean was, in fact, probably significantly changed by that many whales. Gray whales feed in a very odd way. They dig down into the sediments, scooping up and sieving out the sand and mud with their baleen plates, keeping the food inside. They eat crustaceans and, and other bottom-dwelling creatures. And by doing that, they act like marine bulldozers, digging up sediment, resuspending mud, changing the chemistry of the waters. And that many gray whales, 100,000 gray whales, would resuspend as much sediment as most of the Arctic rivers combined, changing the way the whole Bering Sea functioned, probably, as an ecosystem. The 20,000 or so gray whales we have now sometimes look thin and starving. Calving rates are low. Adult mortality some years is pretty high. And it looks as if the ocean can't support even the 20,000 gray whales we have now. But if that ocean used to have 100,000 gray whales, and it can't support 20 now, then the worry is that our oceans are no longer able to support the kind of life that they used to. Now, whether that's because of, of global warming or because of overfishing or pollution or, or whether it's a natural cycle in the oceans, we do not know. But the state of the virgin ocean before industrial fishing and pollution is something that we need to know about so we can understand the state of the ocean we have now. <laughs>